Alright. And of course I forgot to... Turn that off. Alright. Fifty episodes deep. I hope you can help me craft the keeper's wand. I've been slowly modifying the game and game settings to get the best video quality. In the previous episode, I put a little register um, edit so you can turn the fog off, and it looks a lot better now. Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Good to see you, my young Ravenclaw friend. Allow me once again to express my family's gratitude. They were pleased to learn that the wand Richard Jackdaw disappeared with those many years ago had been located, even if it was somewhat unusable. Glad to hear it. Now, I received an owl from Eleazar, uh, Professor Fig. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. It is done. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard.
get over it. No, I have a book. Did you hear that? I know I'm not hearing. Oh, how did I want that? Where was that? You come to the wrong place, John. Oh, try not. I'm a lap. Believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need is to it? send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. I don't think I'm going to the map chamber. Revelio. I would say that Irondale is not appropriately named. I've been here before. <sighs> Let's see.
I don't want that. Death spell. Why can't I slide the banisters? Revelio. Interesting. And wait. Hurry up and wait. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him, and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Keep an eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. There he is. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something, and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders, and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more, though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is better left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside. 
Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here, and I confess, you've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian! Over here! These braziers grant access to the scriptorium. Now you'll share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Rebellion. Remember, three braziers are involved. <laughs> Someone was actually listening. I do. Occasionally. on its own. I wonder if it's a clue. Something's happening. I hope we're ready for this. Journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Family was here. Repair all. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. You hear a voice? It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak parcel tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Uh, yeah. I see no reason we should stop now. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the Dark Arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... never mind. There's no clear way forward. Like a maze. 
Rebellion. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Good for you. we came from, it closed. And there's more than one gate ahead. But there you go. Look closely at each gate for clues. The dial requires focus. Our Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. Rather dire, isn't it? You sound surprised. We're in a maze designed by Salazar. Rebellion. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. All the gates have symbols, and there are symbols on the dial. Mm -hmm. So, does that mean I need a... Another gate. Seems Slytherin like to play games. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror, Sebastian. Matching the symbols did open it. Was about to do that myself. But you got to it first. <clears throat> nice work. Yeah, yeah, you don't know anything. Good Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. So she did. I need to. And she was my favorite person in the world for find the next gate. Lumos. symbols again. Lumos. Maybe a cat in a Z? Another, not the welcome sort, was he? Every dial seems to be getting more difficult, but we've made it this far. Don't give up. vary and symbols differ for every dial.
That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Not sure reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Uh, we've got more to solve ahead. Search each corridor. It may not be obvious which leads where. Lumos. I've forgotten which one I'm doing. It seems the dial Prepare is faster than before. Perhaps check you're matching the correct symbols. Yeah, yeah, I just gotta remember the symbol. Here. Lumos. Fish and the trip pyramid. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Lumos. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. The gate! I think we're locked in. Again! Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Chill. Confringo! Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. This is where she died. This is where we'll die. I shouldn't have listened. Ominous, I'm truly sorry about your aunt. But I know what to do. It's going to be difficult. You said you know what to do. Tortured faces on the door, and Crucio is etched into the stone. My guess is if we cast the Cruciatus curse, the door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. Good. I'll speak with him. Work your magic, so to speak. Wish we had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus Curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. Should have known he would have told you. And one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for 